activated. I've got some work for you. Do me a favor and step out of your cell. Huh, I see. Big day for me, huh? <laughs> yeah, sure. In fact, after this, we're throwing a big after party for you. Everyone's invited. We even made you some cake. You don't have to be an asshole. Yeah, I don't really care. Just follow me. And by the way, we're authorized to kill any disobedient test subjects, so try and make my day easier for me. <sighs> Assistant Researcher Conway, please report to Office Complex E. Attempting to reach anyone on the Foundation radio. Please respond if you're receiving this. Uh, hi? Freeze! Move even in the slightest and I'll blow your brains out. Whoa, hey, there's no need for that. Listen, we can get out of here together. We both know the layout of this place and we could get out of here way sooner if we work together. Oh yeah? And why the hell should I trust you, a D-Class? You're lower than scum. All right, I admit my background isn't exactly admirable, but you can trust me, Ulgrin. How the hell do you know my name? Because I know a lot of things about this place, Ulgrin. You really think I was sent to Dr. Maynard's office? No, no, no. I have, uh, well, let's just say I have connections. Connections that make it easy for me to explore this place with no worries of being caught. You're just gonna have to trust me. All right, fine. 
But you better not be messing with me about this, because if you try something stupid, I won't hesitate to kill you. So, uh, how exactly do you know all about this place? Well, I had connections before my arrest. I had a whole network of hackers, arms dealers, and, uh, other kinds of dealers. All under my command. So then why did you kill that guy? What was his name? John Cowell? It was personal. Let's just say I knew that he was killing some of my members. Not to mention my wife. Oh, right. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, shit! Keep your eyes on it! Oh, fuck! Listen to me. Just keep your eyes on it. Don't stop! Keep running! Oh, man. That was too close. <sighs> Damn right it was close. We've got to keep moving. Oh, shit. Do you see that? Oh, damn. Yeah, I see it. That's not a good sign. What the hell? There's a huge chunk- Who's there? 939. Shit, my day keeps getting better. All right, listen to me. We have to get around these guys quietly. All right, I'm right behind you. Who the hell are you? I am Dr. Gears. Is that you, Olgren? Yeah, it's me. Why are you just sitting here? It's too risky to go with just me and Agent Ivan here. So we've just taken refuge here. So, if you're Gears, you'd know this place more than anyone. Listen, we're heading for the surface. The four of us would get out of here a lot faster if we all went together. Alright, Ivan. Let's go. Affirmative. Shoulder to shoulder, now. Is that a deep blast? Wait, don't fire! Shit! Class D is down! Oh, fuck! Shoot back! Shit! Take this, you bastards! Shit, and go! Shit, and go! He's down! Get him to the surface as soon as possible. Are you okay? Can you walk? <sighs> yeah, I think I can walk. It's Gate B! Fuck yeah! Let's go! We must be careful, since we already know they've dispatched MTF units. They're also likely to be patrolling outside the gate. Look! We can make it! Run. I've got our six.
impossible, but we actually made it. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually breathing fresh air again. We made it out! Holy shit, we made it! Well done, everyone. Well, what do we do now? We need to return to our families and forget about the SCP Foundation. You're damn right about that. Well, I'm gonna try and find my way to a hospital. Well, I'm not usually one for sincerity, but thanks for your help, guys. Especially you, 7382. I might not know what your real name is, but it seems like I was wrong about you. Thanks again. Well, I'm glad you ended up trusting me. And thanks for that, you know, whole keeping me alive thing. It really means a lot. Good luck to you, man. Hopefully now we can all have a fresh start. Well, uh, later. See you around. Goodbye, everyone. I'll make sure it gets to the hospital. I will need to be wearing something less incriminating. <laughs>